This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Carbonite Online Backup. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code Destructoid and get two bonus months if you decide to buy. Coming up on Destructoid, the 3DS came out in Japan this weekend and Dale North made a video about it. Serious Sam 3 is officially a thing that exists and it's serious. And that saucy Nick Chester has some tasty, tasty releases for us. All this and more coming up on Destructoid. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Destructoid. I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. How are you today, Max? How was your weekend? It was interesting. It was it was okay. You know, nothing spectacular. You look hungover. I'm I woke up at eleven o'clock today. Okay. I had to you knew this. We I was very late. And it's the day that we've got all the editors in the studio and they're all like, oh, I wonder how this television show works. And I show up and I'm like, oh yeah, sorry guys, I just, you know. I drank all the beer last night, all of it. All so of it. <laughs> there's no beer left for the record because I freaking drank it all last night. Well, you look terrific, Max. Thanks. I uh, had a hostess birthday cake this weekend, had a nice celebration, that was and I played Borderlands for like 12 hours, got super into it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a I good I saw that cake. I actually played the crap out of Nostalgia, that um, little 8 bit MMO that I talked about last episode. Oh. And uh, the folks who made it over at Silk Games were nice enough to give me a lifetime subscription, which. Um, you know, it's nine bucks a year, so that, that's, I'm Still not sure how that, how that adds up. I'm probably not going to live too long. But um, I, I said last time that I wanted to make a Destructoid guild. That might be kind of tricky because that cost 10,000 gold in the game. I made about 400 and I got to about a level, level 11 as a ninja. Can you buy um, it on eBay? I don't know. It might be, it might be a little bit young for that. It's, it's a very new game. You should go check it out. It's for PC. It's, it's free to play. Um, I recommend it. I think it's fun. It's like Dragon Warrior 3 meets World of Warcraft, so. Um, yeah, go go uh, play that for you know ten hours and piss off your girlfriend who wants yeah. to hang out with you. And donate to the guild fund. Yeah, donate, donate to the, the guild, guild fund. fund. That um, doesn't my, exist. My username on the Beyond thingy is Squid Bear. Um, you know, different characters, different servers. I've got a Pink Ranger named Pink Ranger. You disgust me. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, let's get into the big news of the weekend. Actually, um, the 3DS came out in Japan on Saturday and it sold out in one day. Destructoid editor Dale North called it, quote, the most uneventful launch day ever due to the fact that there were barely any lines of people in Japan at launch time because almost all of the 400,000 3DS units that Nintendo shipped out were already nabbed up by pre-orders. Dale, of course, pre-ordered his and has been uh, playing on it nonstop, but he was nice enough to make a video for us showing off some 3D corgis or something. Let's take a look. I'll walk you in a minute. Don't piss in the house. Seriously. Don't piss. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm playing my new Nintendo 3DS with Nintendogs and Cats, and there's my Corgi, who's probably going to piss in the house any minute, so I'll make this quick. What really impresses me about the Nintendo 3DS, even beyond the 3D features and all the augmented reality, is how much it feels like a console and less like a portable game system. It may be small, but don't let the small size fool you. I think Nintendo has learned a lot in the past few years from the Wii and all of their portables. And, and the end result is a really elegant, really well thought out system. The interface is very Wii-like, but graduated. Uh, there's a lot of internet functionality. Like for example, uh, it's telling me right now that I'm syncing characters with a friend. I think I'm getting a dog download. It's how many steps I've taken today, what time of day it is, battery life, what games are running. And all this is happening in the background while I'm playing the 10 dogs and cats. I can hit the home menu at any time and see what's going on. So the end result is just a very impressive little game system. It doesn't feel like a toy. It doesn't feel like um, a kid's device. This is definitely a mature product. For me, it's definitely one of the most impressive things that Nintendo's put out. And that's even before putting a game inside the system. Launch day for this thing here in Japan was insanely uneventful. There were 400,000 systems to go out, and all those were pre-ordered the month before. So launch day was simply people walking up, picking up their pre-order, and going home happy, even before lunch. No lines, no crazed people, no one beating down doors. Um, the next day, there were a few larger outlets that got a few systems in as a second shipment, but those were snatched up instantly. Now that said, by the end of next month, 1.5 million systems will ship to Japan. So there will be a few more happy people. But my advice to you as American gamers would be to get out there and get your pre-orders in or make friends with clerks or suck someone off or something because it's going to be just as bad or worse in America. Uh, fewer systems to go around for more people. 
Now, if you excuse me, I have a dog to tend to. He really, really has to piss. Thank you, Dale. I would respond to your joke about sucking someone off if the trolls wouldn't love it so much. Let's let that serve as a reminder for me to pre-order my 3DS ASEP. And while we're on the subject of the 3DS, it looks like the console has already been hacked. Sort of. Yeah! Piracy. Yay, piracy. You can't port your 3DS games over just yet, but if you use an R4 card, then say hello to your previously purchased DS games. Someone uploaded a video of it being done on YouTube with the disclaimer, quote, the R4 team has managed to hack the 3DS in order to make it run. Nintendo has made a whitelist built into the 3DS. It's a list that contains the names of all the games that can be played on the 3DS. These guys have modified this list, making it possible to run their flash cards. Therefore, you cannot do this unless you hack the system yourself. So it may be too much work for most people to hassle with, but it's a step closer to hacking 3DS games, which, if I had to speculate, I would say will probably happen before the console reaches North America on March 27th. Tara, I've had it with your hackery. I don't know. Time have. to talk about some exciting news, because uh, Crow Team announced today that there's a sequel to Serious Sam in the works. It's called Serious Sam BFE, and it's going to be a prequel set in Egypt and will include new melee attacks, a 16-player campaign co-op mode, and competitive deathmatch and beast hunt modes. Uh, that's going to PC and uh, consoles this summer. Fuck you know what BFE team. stands for, right? B -b 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 I don't know. But fucking Egypt? Is that only a Texas thing? But fucking I thought, Egypt? No, none of the video game blogs seem to know what BFE stands for, but BFE is a phrase for like somewhere that's way far out there. You know, like in the boonies? Really? We call it BFE. Okay. And the so game is set in Egypt, so I can only assume Egypt. that's what okay. they mean, but that's... that has not been technically Thank you for this. Yet. This you're, you're I know, a video game exclusive, Texan you guys. Consultant. How that's fascinating. So because GDC is this week, that means that a bunch of the Destructoid editors are in town to see what's up. Which means it's time for a very special live in-person releases of the week with Nick Chester. Take it away, Nicholas. Video games. EA Sports releases its first M-rated game this week with Fight Night Champion. And that means more profanities than Pokemon Snap and fewer than Bulletstorm. And bare knuckle prison boxing for the first time in a boxing game. The final game in the Bit Trip series, Bit Trip Flux, is out today, which means Jonathan Holmes is somewhere cleaning himself up. <laughs> Hope you finished Dead Space 2 already, because there's more. Dead Space 2 Severed, a two-chapter downloadable add-on is out, and it's going to run you six bucks, and math tells me that's two dollars a chapter, and I know this because I used a calculator. Beyond Good and Evil gets an HD update for Xbox Live Arcade, and I hear dropping acid and playing it convinces your brain that you're playing the sequel. Check Destructoid.com with the world's happiest, hairiest hornball. Homs Aziz brings you... Nick. Nick. My, my mom watches the show. You know your mom wrote the segment, right? I wrote your mom's segment. Thank you, Nicholas. This was, it's lovely seeing you. Why don't you hang out for a second? In the meantime, we're gonna take a word yeah, from our you sponsor. Should stay. Eventually, you're gonna have a computer disaster. Maybe your computer will crash or get stolen by a gang of roaming thieves or die in a house fire. But if you have Carbonite Online Backup, your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site, so it's easy as pie to get them back. Who doesn't love pie? Honestly. You can access your backed up files remotely from any computer or from your iPhone or Blackberry with a free Carbonite app. And Carbonite costs just $55 a year for unlimited backup for your PC or Mac. But when you use the offer code Destructoid to start your free 15-day trial, you'll get two months free if you choose to buy. All the details are at Carbonite.com, and remember, use the offer code Destructoid to get two months free free with your purchase, pie not included. Back to the show. Since we have Nick Chester here in the studio with us, we thought it might be good to pick his brain about GDC, which is happening this week. So, Nick, tell us a little bit about what you're seeing this week, what you're expecting to come of it, what you think is gonna be the best part for you. What are you looking forward to? Well, you know, there's not gonna be any really big announcements this week. Um, I think people are gonna be saving that stuff for you know E3 coming up and maybe some events leading into mm -hmm. E3. There's some cool stuff happening. You know, Iwata has his keynote. That's going to be on Wednesday morning. He's probably going to talk about how the 3DS sold a whole bunch of units in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, maybe yeah, they'll... you guys look forward to that on Wednesday show. We'll be doing a lot of coverage from his keynote speech. Yeah, so I mean, there's that. Um, Electronic Arts has a big uh, event that's happening tomorrow on Tuesday. And, uh, you know, it's a, they're monopolizing the entire afternoon of a bunch of EA games. You know, Shadows of the Dams is going to be there. Um, we're seeing Battlefield 3 <laughs> in the evening, which is really exciting for people who like to shoot crap and scream things <laughs> bang, like bang, Stay bang, Frosty. Bang, bang, yeah, there bang. you go. So there's that. Uh, we're going to be seeing The Darkness 2, uh, which was just announced by 2K. We're going to be seeing that for the first time this week. 
Um, and there's, you know, there's a lot of games that, you know, like Sony's bringing a lot of stuff too. They're bringing Uncharted 3, they're gonna be, uh, Infamous 2 is gonna be here, Resistance 3 is gonna be there. They actually pulled out The Last Guardian and Twisted Metal and a game called Sorcery, a move game, because I guess there weren't enough numbers I'm in the title. Twisted Metal, I wanted to Yeah, I really, yeah, I wanted to see that too, so. But you know, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big fun week. There's gonna be a lot of coverage on Destructoid, and um, yeah, yeah, and we'll be doing also some special episodes this week. So we'll be having our regular format on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then also tentatively we'll be doing some round roundtable discussions with some of the other editors. Um, Nick Chester's in town. Also, Conrad Zimmerman is here. He's behind the scenes right now, lurking. You can't see him, but. Um, we're going to be talking on Tuesday and Thursday evenings about stuff that's going on that day. So basically, GDC coverage coming at you from every which direction. Fun things. We're just going to do this. Yeah, a lot of this. Fingers, a lot. There'll be a lot of them. So. Yeah. Well, uh, shit, Nick. I'm glad you could come by, and uh, thanks for being on our television show. Anytime. Yeah. If it means Tara's going to touch my shoulder, I will. Well, come I think anytime. that's it for today. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, get, let's get everyone here. See you guys tomorrow.